You're right. Okay, good afternoon everyone and welcome to St George's Park for this media conference to confirm the England squad for the forthcoming UEFA Nations League fixtures between Greece and Finland. As ever, we can limit it to three questions per person during the first round and if we have the time, we'll come back to you at the end if you do have follow-up questions. Tim from Sky, do you want to get us underway? Hi Lee, how's it going, you okay? Can we start with the return of Cole Palmer, Phil Foden and Jude Bellingham, all av- available to you in this yeah. camp? So I guess you've inherited one of the problems that Gareth Southgate had in, in- in trying to fit them all yeah. into your starting eleven, so how do you solve that problem? And in particular with Cole Palmer, do you see a specific role to get the best out of him? Yeah, well, like all of the players, I think it's a it's a challenge um, with the with the squad that we've got. We've got so many talented players. Um, always look at finding the the right balance. Um, you know who complements who in terms of the the, the way that we play. Um, I try not to get too um, caught up in positions and. Um, and too too positional, whereas it's more it's more the attributes and and the way that we can potentially um, attack the opposition. So, like you say, all all three are, are excellent players, as as are the um, you know the rest of the squad. Dominic Solanke yeah. called into the squad for the first time since yeah. 2017. He, he's yeah. been close to previous squads, so why is now the right time to call him up? And and what do you expect to get from him? Yeah, I mean, I'm not sh- too sure about previous squads because this is only the second one that I, that I would have picked. Um, Dom's a, a player that I, I'm, I'm fully aware of, having worked with him in the past. Um, Dom was really close to being in the last squad. Obviously, he got, got injured just before selection. Um, a player that's done so well um, at Bournemouth and, and now he's taken that form into 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 Spurs. Um, he's got a lot of really good attributes that, that I really like, um, as well as being a really you know, nice person. You know, he's um, extremely talented and it's um, it's good that we've got him. We revealed on Sky Sports News yesterday that there have been no contacts with some of the potential leading candidates to take the the long-term role as England head coach. I'm just wondering how much of a boost does that give you and and where are you at with with your situation? Have you had any formal conversations with the FA since the the last camp? No, I think it's 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 really clear what my my remit is. It was to it was to take these three camps in the Nations League, um, you know, something that I'm really comfortable doing. Um, totally happy with that. Um, you know, my, my situation hasn't changed. Um, like I say, I'm really looking forward to this, this camp now. This, the, it was a real challenge picking this squad. Um, you know, the, the players that we've, we've had to leave out. Um, you know, we've, we've got some really talented players. So that, that's, that's a big enough challenge without, you know, worrying about, you know, candidates and, and, and the rest of it. But yeah, I'm fully aware of, of, um, of my situation and, and comfortable with it. Hi Lee. Thanks. Uh, in the last squad, there was no Kyle Walker, but he's back and played yeah. football at Manchester City now. Was that always the plan? Yeah, we spoke. We spoke um, before the last squad announcement. It was, you know, he hadn't literally hadn't played a minute for Manchester City. So, um, you know, a, a player that we're looking forward to having back. You know, I've I've never worked with him, but I think what he's done in the past for England is, is a player that I'm sure can help our, our younger players as well. Cole Palmer, you know him very well. Obviously, had an excellent season yeah. last season, but he's carried that on this yeah, campaign. Yeah. Are you surprised that he's able to maintain that level? No, not really. I think um, you know, you know, known Cole for you know a, a number of years, seeing how he's progressed, um, every challenge that's been put in front of Cole. You know, you've seen yourself. He, he just he takes any stride, um, doesn't get too high, doesn't get too low, and that's a that's a brilliant attribute to have as a as a professional footballer. And it's great to see him doing so well. One out, one of the breakout players this season is Morgan Rogers. He's not yes. in the in the squad. Was he close to yeah. being named in in this group? Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of players that were that were close to being in this squad. Um, you know, the the talent that we've got available for us, the challenges. You know, would have been quite easy to name a, a 40 man squad and, and almost justify having them all in. But the the challenge is making sure that we've we can pe- uh, that we pick a, a competitive a competitive squad and a squad where you know I think we can we can win the two games. Hi, Lee. Um, since we last spoke to you, Ashley Cole's been sort of embedded back yeah. really into the FA. Yeah. Did you have a, a role in that? And obviously, he's very much Team Carsley from what we saw with the under twenty ones. Yeah. So um, Ashley's role um, under the twenty in the under twenty ones was a full time role, but obviously he was working at Everton at the time and um, and Birmingham, so he was able to to dual role. Um, with this being an interim period, I thought it was it was best for all of us if he if the assistant was a full time because of the amount of 
um, players that we need to get around and and the um, you know the, the importance of the role. So um, yeah, there's no there's no change, but it was it was always a, a case that we, we we could have had a full time assistant. So it was very much you you. Oh yeah, things. definitely. Yeah, I I felt that I needed a full time assistant. Yeah, just to yeah, yeah to take on some of the um, the strains that that go with the job. And how have you found the job going around to games? And what's the reaction of the fans been to um, you? Yeah, it's been it's been really positive. Um, it's been it's been it's been um, you know, people seem to be very complimentary about the team. Um, I you know, understand that it's that it's early days. I think um, yeah, the the any, anywhere that I've been, it's it's very um, you know it's very positive. Obviously, the the difference would be that everyone's got an opinion on the, the England team, and you know why are you putting so and so in, or, or why are you leaving so and so out, and. Um, which is which is interesting because generally when you when you play for a club or manage a team, people are worried about that team. Whereas with England, it's everyone's got an opinion on it, which which is it's it's good. You know, you can you know people are, are desperate for the team to to win and do well, and you know ultimate the ultimate goal is to to win a major trophy. And but yeah, the 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 reactions that I've had have been really positive, been good. Okay, I don't think there's any other hands. Oh, it's a Jonathan here. No, Eberichi has a yeah. squad. Is he injured, or is it just a tactical selection? Yeah, it was just a chance that, that, um, that the players that have been left out was more of a chance of me having a look at other players. Nothing that they've done, definitely not anything to do with form. It's just a case of using this period of of, of the next two camps to you know experiment a little bit, look at other players. Um, I think um, the, the players that have been left out have, have, have all got a case of uh, to be in the squad, but I thought it was important that. Uh, we've seen the benefit of the last um, squad of it being fresh and it feeling feeling fresh, a lot of energy in it. Not that them players didn't bring that, but I thought that it was it was important that it's not just a copy and a paste. It's um, I want them to feel like they've earned their their place in the squad and um, you know spoken to all of the players that that, that aren't involved and and have had um, good conversations with them. Um, you know, ultimately, um, people want to know where they stand and is you know you know long term. I've, I've made it totally clear to all of the players that this is a short term decision from myself um, you know I've got this camp and the next camp so just to keep playing as well as they can at their clubs um, we've watched so much football the last three week, three, weeks, three or four weeks whatever it is since the last game seen every single touch that the players have had in terms of players that we've picked or left out so we feel really well informed with the, the squad that we've selected Okay, if we go back to Tim and Alex here you got follow ups yeah. Just more specifically I know you touched on it there Harry Maguire Yeah not in the squad. Yeah. How did he react to that? And is he one that you still see uh, in your long term plan? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Harry's um, a player that I've like I've worked with in the past. Um, he was very positive uh, in the in the conversation that we had. Um, really, really wary about having them kind of conversations and them going on too long because obviously he's got a game tonight. So it was a case of talking to him about what what, what my decision was. Obviously, um, we've got some really good centre backs that I'm keen to see play um, and I'm weary about bringing players away that you know that are really experienced that potentially aren't going to play much so but Harry's still got a really important part to play in this um, in this not only this squad but the up and coming campaign and there's no uh, recognised left backs or Rico Lewis and yeah. uh, Levi Colwell and you've mentioned there that it's about attributes but are you happy yeah. to continue without a, a specialist left back or is it a position you'd you'd look to in, in future? No, I think it's it's you always want that balance. You know, the ideal scenario is that you've got a, a left footed player in, in that area that's that's uh, that's comfortable on the ball. I think we've got that with with either Rico, Trent, uh, Levi. Uh, we're, we're, we're quite lucky in that in that in that regard. Um, we've also got really gifted wide players. Um, so, you know, our, our height and our width and our pace will mainly come from the, from the wide players rather than the, the fullbacks. Lee, there's been a lot of talk about Harry Kane, particularly in Germany and whether yeah. he actually delivers in, in the big games. Bill called him invisible last night against yeah. Villa. I mean, you're obviously an admirer of Harry Kane. Yeah. He's your captain. What, what, what are his strengths and does he do it in the big games? Well, I was, I was at the game last night. It was a, it was a brilliant game. I mean, the, the tempo and the, and the level of, of game that, 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 that I seen was, um, was great to see. Um, Harry Kane's a player that's really important to us. Um, a player that will always score goals. I think sometimes with, um, with centre forwards, there's, they're an easy target because they're the ones that you expect to, to deliver. I think it's, you know, you have to, you have to be aware that there's another 10 players that go with that as well. And, you know, he needs support. He needs to have chances created for him, and 
you know, I think um, I think he's doing well. His goal record, I think it flashed up before before the game. His goal record at Aboyne is, is outstanding. Uh, that cannot be questioned. I can only go off what I see on camp, and, and he was outstanding last camp. The goals, the goals that he scored, the way he conducted himself, the way that he trained, he's in, he's in a good place. Okay. Anything further? Okay, we'll end it there. Thanks for your time. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.